What up, y'all? Back again. I think this is part five. But, uh, is that this drummer? But I used that to trim off all this excess fiberglass that was hanging off the edges and, uh, you know, overlapping each little speaker hole. And so I got all that cut off for all of the doors. I figured, you know, no point in filming that. Just go ahead and knock that out. But, uh, so yeah. Now I'm about to break out this sander. And uh, I think I got some 60 grit. I'm going to go ahead and sand all of this fiberglass just to get it kind of a little smoother than what it is. And then it'll be time to start the bondo. Alright, so I'm on this first door. And I just did one layer of bondo so far. And uh, sanded it all down. I got some 60 grit sandpaper on this. So one layer of this, sand it all through. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other doors. And then after that first layer, Bondo sanding it, I'm gonna go ahead and prime it. And then uh, go back over it again with some Bondo. That way once it's primed, I can kinda, it'll be a little easier to see the imperfections when everything is the same color, so. Go ahead, sand the rest of them, one layer of bundle, and then uh, prime them, uh, let them dry. And I'm gonna come back and do another layer of bundle. And hopefully that should be it. And then, you know, sand and wet sand and get it, you know, pretty smooth. But hopefully I can get it done without too many layers. So stay tuned. And by the way, I'm not using any type of special bundle or nothing. This is just a. Uh, you know, regular Bondo brand filler. So you can get this from Walmart, Home Depot, any AutoZone, Advanced Auto. So nothing special ordered or nothing like that. So you can do this at the house without worrying. All right, we're making progress on these doors. Uh, <clears throat> still going with the first layer of Bondo on this one. I hadn't got to this one yet, but once I get this pretty much covered all the way across go ahead sand that and then it'll look like these which is just one layer of bondo and then sand it down and so I'm, I'm getting there making a making progress today and once these are done I'll have them primed tonight and then maybe tomorrow I'll come back and uh because there's gonna be some spots that's you know high and low spots so once it's all primed, I'll come back and fill in some spots and sand it and prime it again and see what we got. So I'll probably do that maybe maybe twice and that should be good enough. But all right. All doors are done with the first layer of bondo. So Still got a lot of uh, imperfections here and there. Still got to sand this little area a little bit, but it's pretty good on that one. But, uh, so yeah, still got a lot of imperfections and stuff. So once I prime everything down, imperfections will be a little easier to spot, a little easier to, uh, to work with and try to fix. And, uh, All right, everything's cleaned up, dried off, taped off. I uh, got the plastic over everything else, and it's time for primer. So I'm trying out this Rust-Oleum primer this time. Uh, really just because the can was a lot more paint in it, and it was a little bit cheaper. So I was like, let me, you know, I could at least give it a shot. So time to go ahead and uh, prime these up. All right, welcome back. So this is the last one I got left to sand. Oh, man. All right, so I've been sanding this one. Uh, the heavy stuff, I started out with the 60 grit just to kind of break it down. And then everything else, I've been using this uh, 120 grit. So for the most part, all of this is 120 grit sanded down. So it's smooth to the touch. Uh, 
Now, because, you know, the main hole for this thing is covered up because of the TV, I got to cut this piece and the one for the driver's side so it'll fit in this hole. So I'm just going to cut off this back half, the part with the screws in it. So this should be good all the way to somewhere between, you know, a halfway point in there. But got this. So uh, I'm going to cut this back half off, test fit this a couple of times before I prime it. But the back doors are almost done. They're uh, sanded, primed. I still got a few, you know, small nicks and stuff here and there. So once I get these front doors primed and smoothed down again, I'm just going to go over all four doors, find all the little small spots, fill them. Uh, I got some spot filler putty. So the little small spots, I'll just do that instead of mixing a whole a whole nother thing with this bondo so be a little easier a little quicker and once i do that uh tvs and everything will fit i might i might go ahead and mount those tvs in the back door just to get that done with i test the tv up front speaker holes good to go but it'll just be cutting these for both sides and uh making them fit so i'm gonna go ahead and plug this up and get to cutting just like that it's cut i ended up trimming a little bit on this side too just because it was a little too close over here in this corner but everything fits pretty much like uh like factory and it's got these little pushing tabs to hold it so it's kind of hard to do with one hand but let me see. There we go. But the only thing is this little gap is here. But, you know, it is what it is on that. So this will fit. And uh, you'll still have your window button. Still be able to have some sort of door pull to, you know, close the door when you need to. And pops back out when you need it. So that's done. I'm going to dust this one off, get it ready for some more primer, and then time to sand that one.